Okay, Kyle, let me show you how to do this. It's going to take a little bit of CSS, and by a little bit, I mean like two lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into our element right here, and let's say we want to highlight, oops, what am I doing here? We want to highlight just this part right there. Well, one of the first things we have to do is we have to be able to identify this element. Now, we could use the uh, identifier that would be given to you by ClickFunnels, but it's much better to come in and set up either a data attribute or a or an actual ID. So in this case here, the simplest thing to do is to set up an ID. So let's just say we want to call this our highlight headline, if I can figure out how to spell highlight here. And then what I also like to do is whenever I give any kind of element an ID or a, a data attribute, I want to also put that in here. Uh, into the title right here because this is what will show up when you click on layout up here so it's a lot easier to find that element and so now we are going to click on update now we're going to click on this right here to be able to copy that ID we just created and we're going to paste it in over here into the CSS code Make sure you put a hashtag where I'll make it will, excuse me, it will put the hashtag in there for you and then what we're going to do is we're going to put in a left curly bracket, come down a couple lines, we'll put in a right curly bracket. Now let's say we want to make the background color in here a uh, yellow color. So let's say background dash color colon and we're just gonna say yellow you of course can put in a semicolon. I'm sorry you can also put in a hexadecimal um, number RGBA, HSLA, however you want to call the color. In this here, I just use the value, the name value. Now you're looking at this going, that is not what I wanted because that's giving it to me for the entirety of the element. Well, that's because we have not said, okay, only do it for a part of the element. And so now what we're going to say is we need to be able to find a way to designate the part of the element that we want to be able to target and so in this case here we're going to click on the strike through so he puts a little strike through through there so again don't worry we're going to get rid of that and now let's save this and let's take a look at this element and we'll let the page load up here for a second as I grab a drink of water and now let us right click on here and inspect this now I can see already I don't think it's saved in the strike through here so Let's click back out of there. <coughs> Let's try this again. We'll come back out. Let's reload the page. We'll also move the dev tool over to the left hand side. Now we got our strike through on the word secrets there. It's a little hard to see. I can I can see that. And so now let's come in and let us highlight where it says this right here. And we're gonna come in and now we're gonna see right here this says strike. So because it says strike, we can then use that to um, signify or to select, it's known as a selector, we're going to use that to select the part of the element. See, we got up here is the entirety of the headline, and we have ID equals highlight headline up there. So we're saying go down inside of there until you find this part that says strike right here. And then at that level, we're going to say we want that background to be yellow. Right now, we said make the background yellow up here. We don't want that. We're going to come down here to the strike part of this. And then we're going to say background dash color of yellow. And there it just highlights the yellow part itself. Now, let's say we wanted to make this a little bit wider. Let's see if we can put some padding in here padding um let's just say left now yeah, let's do let's just do the short format here so we got zero padding on the top we got 10 pixels of padding on either side so boom it pushed it out a little bit so you get a little padding around there as well so that should work and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back into our code so we know now that we have to say we want the strike part the strike child element of our id of highlight headlines so we're going to say come down inside of here now how you signify that in css is you come in and you just put a space so we'll just put a space there we will put in the word strike 
and now it knows to only go to that part of the element, the child part of the outer element. And let's just put our padding back in there as well. And we'll just say zero and 10 pixels. And now you're gonna say to yourself, okay, well, that's great. But I can't read that it says secrets. So let's go make sure you have a semicolon at the end here. So now let's change the color on this. And we're going to change that color to black. Again, you can use um, hex decimal, any other system you want for your color. And then you're also going to say, well, hey, it's got a strike through. We don't want that. So we're going to say here now text decoration because the... Um, the strike through is what is known as a property. It's one of the values of the property of text decoration. And so in this case here, we're just going to say none, and that will take that strike through right back off of there. And the end result is actually looks pretty darn good. So let's click out of here. Come on, click out of here. Let's save this. So reload that page and let's see what that thing looks like. Doom, boom, hey, that actually looks pretty good. So, and, oh, now that we're playing around, I'm just curious now, can I uh, make corners on here? I don't know why you would, but let's just try that really fast. Let me just see if we can make some rounded corners on there. So let's just say we're gonna go border-radius, and let's just say we want that to be five pixels. And there you go. It actually made some little corners on there. So that actually looks pretty darn good.